Hello, Hannah here. Today I'm starting a shadow box project and I wanted to share it with the readers on my blog from the beginning. I started with this top which came on some glaze pens because I wanted to do the shadow box with a plastic cover and I was looking around for a cover that would be just right and I found this one. It's not quite as wide as I wanted it to be but I think it's going to work out just fine. So if you're going to do this project you'll need to first identify your cover and then you can move to your base. For the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to give you the overall size of my project and you can try to find components that will allow you to make the same box or a box of your own measurements. Okay. So the finished size of my shadow box will be six and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. So that will be once all of these sides are folded and the top is on, this will be my um, finished component right there. That will be the size of it. Okay? In order to cut your template for your base, you need to cut your template eight and a half inches long and five and a half inches wide. Then on each end, you're going to cut down an inch. You can see that that is an inch right here on the cutting board. So you're going to cut an inch on all four corners and that will create the sides and flaps for your shadow box. Okay. Then you will need paper for your the back and for the inside. Now of course you can if you want paint your corrugated cardboard. I'm not going to paint mine. I'm going to cover it with paper. I have cut individual strips to fit on my sides. So they'll go in like this. And then I have the smaller strips to go on the end. Um, because I just think that gives you a more finished look. However, you may want to use just one sheet of paper and you need a, this is, I just did this as an example, but you're really going to need a heavy card stock if you're going to use just one sheet. And you would cut it 12 inches by 9 and a half inches and then cut in and do your flaps and that way you'll be able to cover it all with just one sheet of paper. In addition to that, you're going to need your dividers in order to create the shelves for your shadow box. So your center post um, you'll cut and then you'll need three slits at equal distances. And you can determine that. You can determine how many sections you want. I'm going to have four boxes on either side. So that means I'm going to have eight total. So I needed three um, middle supports on mine. But then you see once there, once this is assembled, um, then I will have eight sections for embellishments. Okay? And on mine, you see here, I have these little tabs on the end so that they will glue to the sides and give it more stability. This particular piece is one inch by four and a quarter inches. That includes these little tabs. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut down, um, once you, you've cut it the length that you want it, then you're going to have to cut down here um, around a half an inch on either side. It may be a little less than half an inch. You'll just have to figure that out when you do your project, what fits inside your box. So cut it and then you'll fold this tab in and you'll secure it with glue on the uh, inside. Okay, so those are the components that you're going to need in order to get started. I am going to do this video in four parts because I, um, I want to go step by step 
and this is just for the readers on my blog who might want to uh, do each section and then come back and look at the next section of the video. So this is part one and these are all the components that you'll need. Thank you and I'll see you in part two.